Well, let's bring you to this conversation now. It's been a year since Finance Minister Ino Gorongwana promised to have the National Treasury work closely with provincial and municipal governments in order to address this functional service delivery. And while the verdict is still pending on how successful that plan was, communities in the Rand West a City local municipality uh, say, uh, you know, effective and reliable service delivery is one of the biggest challenges in the country. This is largely due, of course, to the municipalities across the country not having the required resources to fulfill the delivery of basic services to communities within which they operate. Now, let's discuss this further. I'm now joined in studio by the Gauteng chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Cogda and E-Government, Fasia Hassan. Fasia, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks. Mate. And obviously coming through. Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, municipalities are in a state of shambles, if I can call it that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we have seen over the past couple of years mm -hmm. just the sheer deterioration of, you know, service delivery in many of our municipalities in Gauteng. You've recently yeah. called a meeting to discuss some of, you know, the biggest problems that they are facing. Talk to us very briefly yeah. about that meeting and why you had called mm. it. Quite right. I think we all can't deny the state of municipalities and metros at the moment. Mm. Um, and as the provincial legislature, as the portfolio committee, we didn't want to be caught, uh, not just with our pants down, but not being hands on with the process. Uh, so earlier this week, we actually um, called or summoned rather all the metros in the province, all the municipalities and their big focus were three things. We wanted to hear about electricity, about water and about infrastructure because those are the three basic elements that they're failing at at the moment and more importantly we didn't just want to hear about the problems. We wanted to now start working towards solutions um, and ultimately provide services, that's the whole point of this, um, back, back into people's homes. Now, the people that you met with, uh, I would imagine these are leaders. These are the, the same people that are supposed to be implementing, mm. you know, some of those strategic plans that you speak of, particularly in those areas that you speak of. We know over, you know, this um, energy crisis issue, one of the biggest things that has come from ESCOM is that municipalities owe yes. lots and lots of money, which is contributing to the crippling of, of, of the utility that we are currently seeing. And of course, we know the damning mm. findings by the Auditor General mm. in some of the mm. municipalities, particularly in Gauteng, and some of them in the bigger metros like Tswane. Yeah. So let's talk about solutions. Mm. I mean, the President mentioned it, that it's time yeah. to have action and not really, you know, continue to engage and talk mm. because we really know what the problems are. So mm. what are some of the plans in place? Mm. No, you're quite Quite right. So when you look at some of the lack of capacity, which is one of the reasons that have brought us into here, we have to address that as a matter of urgency. Um, so that really is putting back the right kinds of people into municipalities, number one, with the types of skill sets, uh, but also to insulate the public service from political interference. I think that's a big one. Um, it doesn't matter who the mayor in the city of Tuan, it shouldn't matter who the mayor is. It shouldn't prevent service delivery, particularly not in poor and working class areas. Um, city of Tuan, of course, as you mentioned, complete financial financial debt. Um, it's really, really a big worry. And in fact, as the province, uh, Premier Lissoufi spoke to it this week, uh, we'll also be looking at whether we need to intervene. And there's some constitutional um, mechanisms that we can use to do so. But this is really part of the process of saying we're not going to take a hands-off approach. Actually, what we're saying is that if we need to bring in the right capacity, if we have to get the right kinds of elements of debt relief, I think the Minister of Finance spoke to it this week, those are some of the things that we have to do. But beyond that, we have to really recenter back to basics. If we're not presenting electricity, water, or basic infrastructure, then there's failures of, of, of municipalities and metros. And in many ways, that's their bread and butter mandate. Um, so it's not just about pointing fingers. It's about saying each metro or each municipality has slightly different interventions needed. Mfuleni, West Strand, etc., is different to a city of Johannesburg or city of Tswane. And that was one of the points of this week's meeting. So now that we've had a bigger meeting, the intention is to go into each of those areas and say, right, who do we need to bring from which areas? And one of the other things that we're pushing for um, is to really capacitate municipalities to fully benefit from the grants from National Treasury. Um, so often there's underspending of those grants or they don't even qualify for the applications. And there's huge opportunities uh, for things that we can do that really exist in the system. Now, one of the municipalities I mentioned in our intro was Rand yeah. West Municipality. And I want to know from you, which are some of... The 
the municipalities that you have squarely on your sites now in terms of making sure that they are accountable mm. for what we are seeing on the ground in terms of lack of service delivery. And I'm mentioning Rand West uh, municipality specifically because the SABC profiled yes. the municipality recently because they were shut off, uh, you know, from uh, electricity for mm. five weeks. Mm. I mean, you know, some parts of, of the area we know uh, are back online, but, but many of those parts are still in the dark yeah. because of incompetence, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, it's unacceptable to not have electricity for five weeks. Uh, we did have Rand West Municipality and the various, because that's a district, um, and the various local municipalities with it. Unfortunately, the mayor was not present. Um, and that's also one of the things that we've highlighted. Um, and so as the Portfolio Committee, we will actually be going um, into Rand West. Water is also another crisis. You may not have mentioned it in the, infra uh, in the introduction, but that's also a really big problem in that metro. So number one is about holding them accountable, so utilizing the MEC. Uh, but number two, like I said, it really is about zeroing in on what the issues are. People don't want to hear about this particular politician and that other politician. They want to know when they're going to have electricity, when they're going to have water, when they're going to have proper refuse removal, etc. And that's why we're zeroing in on this. And on that point, you know, what have you done since Wednesday? Have you contacted the mayor? Have you written to the mayor as mm. a body that is providing oversight mm. in that area? Because I think that's the kind of action that we need mm. now to hold these mayors accountable, to mm. hurl them, you know, in front of bodies where they need exactly. to account. Exactly. And also before the Auditor General. So yes, that process is already undergoing. Um, the MEC is very well aware. In fact, I'll be honest with you, we, sit, we sent the city of Joburg and the city of Ikuruleni back because we were not happy with the kinds of presentations they were making. Um, and so we're going to be having a follow-up meeting within the next week or so. But beyond that, uh, we've actually asked the MEC to accompany us uh, at what we're going to call unannounced oversight. So we don't want to tell them we're coming, mm -hmm. although now we're saying it on TV. Uh, but the point is, we're just going to pitch up. And the idea behind that, Unati, is to say we want to see how you guys function on a normal daily basis so that we can get a true reflection and more importantly we want to really involve the public. Um, so often uh, politicians make decisions without the public, without our communities and we need to recenter that process and even if the politicians are telling us things are happening, if our community is saying not, that's the actual um, narrative or the true narrative of what's happening on the ground and that's where we're also going to be focusing our energies. So see our time is up but we will definitely be following up with you to make Please. sure um, you know what some of the interventions have been made in some of those municipalities but thank you so much for for your thank time. you very of course, much that was uh fasia hassan and she is the chairperson of the portfolio committee on cocta and e-government in gauteng